Hello Stings, this will be part two of our Unit 4 review. We have already gone through 1, 2, 3, and 4, so we're going to start with problem number 5. We need to write an equation in slope-intercept form for the line that is parallel to the line y equals negative 1 half x plus 4, and it passes through the, the point 4, negative 2. So to be parallel, that means that you have to have the same slope as another line. So the slope here is negative one-half. So that is the slope we're going to use, and we will use the table like we did in problem number one, where we put our slope-intercept form here in the middle of the x and y. Here's our x, here's our y. Our slope is negative one-half. We're going to multiply that by the x value we have and solve for b. Half of four is two, so this is going to be negative two plus b equals negative two. So we're going to add two to both sides, giving us a y-intercept of zero. So we simply have the equation y equals negative one-half x. For number six, we need to write an equation in slope-intercept form for the line that is perpendicular to y equals three-fourths x plus one-half. So the slope here is three over four. But the perpendicular slope then would be the negative reciprocal. So we would take negative four over three for our slope, and it's going to pass through the point three, six. Again, we will use the extended table. Our x is three, our y is six. The slope we need to use is negative four over three. Our x again is three. Negative four thirds times three is negative four. We add four to both sides, so we get a y-intercept of 10. So our equation is y equals negative four thirds x plus 10. This is the equation of a line that is perpendicular to the line that they gave us. For problem number seven, they um, want to know the equation of a line that is perpendicular to the x-axis and has an x-intercept of 10.5. So here I'm going to draw a set of axes. To be perpendicular to the x-axis, that means that you are parallel to the y-axis, which means you are a vertical line. So I need a vertical line. My slope then would be undefined and my equation is always of the form x equals. Well, they gave us an x value of 10.5, so the equation of a line that is perpendicular to the x-axis and has an x-intercept of 10.5 is x equals 10.5. Number eight, write an equation in point-slope form for the line that passes through this point and has a slope of negative 3 halves. So remember, point-slope form is y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1. First, set up your skeleton. Now, substitute values. y sub 1 is negative 7. Slope is negative 3 halves. x sub 1 is positive 1. Now, simplify y minus negative 7 is the same as y plus 7. Slope is negative 3 halves, and this becomes x minus 1. It told us to leave it in point-slope form, so we are finished with problem number 8. So this has been the second video for the Unit 4 review.